Hi guys. So I have a story time for you guys. I'm gonna tell you about the time that I was I'm trying to think how old I was. Ooh, I was probably like, yeah, I had to be 15. I, I was 15, I was just bad. Like, but I was 15. I'm gonna tell you about the time I snuck a boy in to my house and had to hide him for like probably like eight hours so if you want to hear that disaster stay tuned so i was 15 um i had just moved from arlington to irving and so and i was in high school i had just started my freshman year and then we moved so i'm like oh my gosh like everybody that i went to middle school with like all my friends and then we started freshman year together and then you just had, like, I just had to leave, like, move to a whole different town and start holding high school. Like, it was the end of my life. So, um, it was the summertime. Was it the summertime? It may have not been the summertime. It may have been, like, a weekend or something. But my mom was still letting, like, my Arlington friends come visit. So, I had one of my best friends come from Arlington and she was going to, like, spend the weekend with us. Because she came over um, and we were just hanging out. And then, like... Me being fast, like, I was like, oh, let's, you know, let's invite some other people <laughs> while we're at it. Let's invite some boys. So, I was just fast, y'all. I can't tell you why I was fast. I was just fast. That's why, I don't know. So, I invited um, this guy that I liked at the time. I invited him over. And then, he brought his friend. And I, like... That wasn't the plan. Like, it wasn't the plan for him to come. It, it was like... So then, on top of that, like, I'm just a bad friend because, right, I want to invite this guy over that I like. And then I just want you to, like, hang out and do whatever you want to do. Not cool. I get that now because I'm older. Like, I understand. Not cool. Don't do that. So anyway, um, they were, like, you know, like, bad boys, like, in a clique or whatever gang because i'm pretty sure it's still a gang to this day i don't really know um but so yeah he found his way over to irving which was like you know at at 16 or 15 i'm like okay he coming all the way to see me from but if y'all y'all know like arlington irving you know it's like 15 30 minutes away from each other depending on how you drive and depending on if there's traffic like so yeah um anyway and of course my mom was at work because i knew like her schedule, I knew when she was going to work, when time she was getting off. Apparently I thought this, you know, I thought I knew what time. Um, so yeah, she was gone, of course. So I invited them over. He came, showed up with an extra friend, which I really wasn't feeling. I'm like, okay, well he can hang out with my best friend. So of course, um, I was just fast. So we like went off by ourselves the back and we were just you know hanging out doing things that 15 year olds shouldn't be doing um and then i hear the front door open which the room that we're in like i have the door closed uh thank god it had a lock on it so i hear the front door open and i hear my mama yelling or not yelling but like very high pitched voice saying if you don't get your feet off my table so she was telling the other, she was telling the boy that was in the living room with my friend, cause I, he just got real comfortable. Like he had his feet propped up on the table. Like I didn't know, cause I wasn't up there. But when she came in, she was like, "If you don't get your feet off my table, and who are you?" Like, and so I just heard the commotion, and of course we stopped what we were doing. Like I hopped up, shoved him in a closet, and this closet had like shelves. Like, so thank God he was skinny, cause otherwise. I probably couldn't have stuffed him in that closet so I stuffed him in the closet and I like hear her because we had hard with hard floors so I hear her coming and she's trying to open the door so I just like I like opened it and then I like we weren't even in my room so that off top that was already like suspicious so I opened it and act like I was sleeping she's like what are you doing and who is he and I was like 
I was like, he's just a friend. Um, I kind of blamed it on my best friend. Like, this, that's her friend. Like, so I wouldn't get in trouble. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, I was a horrible friend. Probably still am. So I blamed him being there on her. Because my mama, like, she wasn't going to get on to her. Like, she she was just like that. Like, like she wasn't going to scold her or get on to her or tell her parents or anything like that. She was just like that. So me putting the blame on her really was no harm, no foul. So I was just like, I don't know who he is. That's her friend. Like, well, and she was like, so you need you need to tell him to leave. And why are you in this room? Because it's not even your room. And I was just like, I was just sleeping in here. Um, so, of course, like, I get up, tell him, like, he got to go. And he talking out loud, like, where is his other friend, which is, you know, you know, the one I was with. He's like, where is he? And I'm like 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 trying to get him to understand like you're about to get me in trouble like you need to leave she don't know he here he will i was like so he already left like i lied there was a window in that room that i think about it so i don't know why i just didn't like let him out the window so anyway keep in mind through all of this this man this man this boy is still in this closet like trying to get dressed, trying to put his clothes on, like texting me like, when can I get out? When can I come out? When can I leave? And I'm just like, you gotta wait. Like she just, she just out. Like she's just around the house now. Um, because I had already lied about the other boy and why he was there. So it's not like I could just be like, okay, there's another guy in here. Like, can he leave? Like I was really gonna get in trouble twice, but having him over and then for lying about it. So I told the other guy, was like um he'll just have to meet you like you gotta go so i'm telling y'all like four maybe four or five hours passed and this like he's still in this closet like waiting for me to tell him when he can like when i can bestly get him out in the clear so i mean my mama just normally she just like come home and go to her room but like that day she was just all around the house probably just like like snooping around trying to see i don't know so she was just out and about y'all and i just felt so bad because this guy this guy was in this closet for that long like texting me when can i get out so she finally went to take a shower and i was like oh, thank god like whoo let me try to sneak you out of here so she um she finally got in the shower I could finally let him out and when I tell y'all he darted like like full-on sprinted out yeah but before then let me rewind so because it had been so long like four or five hours his other friend came back to the door with their ride which I'm pretty sure it was his mama and they pull up in the driveway all comfortable real comfortable like like you know like I'm just like I'm just the type of girl that can invite guys to my house and not get in trouble <clears throat> so he comes and knocks on the door again he's like hey where is so and so and I'm just like he already left so like I had lied because at that point he was still in the closet but it's like you really about to get me in trouble like I'm trying to get him out of here so I think like this is what I think happened I think they they like went to the wreck because there was a wreck center if y'all watch my 15 and pregnant video y'all know like there was a wreck center right in the neighborhood so i think they went there to wait for him or like they just probably went back to arlington i don't know so um uh, let me think let me think let me think so yeah let's fast forward i finally could get him out of the house and probably like he probably didn't talk to me for like a good couple months couple couple months yeah i was gonna say a couple weeks but no i think it was a couple months like but like i thought it was okay because when i lived in arlington like i was sneaking him in all the time so like he kind of knew the situation like it's like a hey if my mama should pop up you're gonna have to hide or you're gonna have to you know you have to get out of here so yeah and i can tell you to this day like we're still good friends like i still you know still talk to him occasionally so yeah 
and then all in all in all of this like my friend my best friend that was there was just like just like helping me all along like we sitting in separate parts of the house trying to figure out like which way we can get him out because like if i open the door my mom would be like why you opening the door like where, where you think y'all going like it was just a lot it was just a lot that was the first time she had like popped up and i had to like think quick on my feet and hide this guy so that is the story of the time i had to hide a guy in my room it wasn't even my room it's just another room i don't know why we went to it in my room probably because it didn't have a lock on the door but yeah that's the story i remember one time before before we moved to irving like he was walking me home because the middle school is right up the street so i was able to walk home but i had told him walk a little bit behind me because i don't know if my mama home and if she is she could see down from the apartment and so I, uh, sure enough, when I got upstairs to the apartment, she was there. She was home early, <sighs> just always ruining my fun. And so I had previously told him, like, if I don't come back down to get you, like, just leave. Like, don't come knock on the door. But that was, like, the first time she was there. And um, when we were walking, she was like, who's that guy walking behind you? Because, I mean, there was enough space, like, to kind of be like, Maybe he was another kid from the neighborhood, you know, walking home from school. And I was like, I don't know, I think he got to my school. And so she was like, oh, okay. So I was just like, and I don't think I had my phone at the time, and I don't think he had his at the time. And so I was just like hoping the whole time, like, that he did not knock on the door, like he was smart. So he was smart, he didn't knock on the door. So that's the good part. So yeah, that's, that's that story. Hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you want more story times let me know because i got a lot i've done some some really crazy things in my teenage years so bye guys youthful of vibe is contagious look in your eyes feel it's dangerous grateful i had all the patience i know you're going through some changes you taking pictures, know your angles Ooh, no, we ain't perfect, but we them close